Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman. Uh, I've just returned from the Red Sea where we've just run another successful video workshop uh, with Red Sea Diving Safaris at Masa Chagra. Uh, as usual, weather was great, uh, the lots of animals on the reef and really easy diving. One thing surprised me though, and that was the lack of uh, people there at the resort. I know in the uh, media we've had news of trouble in Egypt and how it may be unsafe to travel there but I found no problems at all. I thought it was all very easy, uh, very friendly and, but I thought I'd ask some of the other guests um, what their experiences were. Well, we've been diving um, here this week. It's been incredibly, incredibly clear. The water is beautiful. You've got 40 to 50 meter visibility. So um, the, the reef is absolutely stunning at the moment. It's so, so vibrant, isn't it? It's so, so peaceful in the water. Um, it's just so relaxing here. We've got the bean bags we're chilling out and we've been falling asleep in the sun in the afternoon, listening to the waves gently lap against the side of the, uh, the beach and it's, it's just so soporific. It's difficult to work out what's better, just falling asleep in the sun or just going for a dive. Um, but it is, it is so, so lovely here and, and it's, it's worlds away from, from Cairo or anything like that. You feel completely safe here. There's, uh, everyone's incredibly friendly. It's a really, really nice and welcoming place to be and uh, popular to relax and just chill out in the sun. Yeah, it's always good here. This is for me. It's the second time that I've been to this location, and uh, it's a magnificent house reef. So, yeah, whatever you want to do, everything is possible. And uh, did you fly into Marsalam or into Hogada? Uh, Marsalam. Marsalam, and you didn't have any problems on the roads, or you, you felt safe? Since no, yeah, we had a transfer. Uh, the bus from uh, uh, Red Sea Diving Safari picked us up and brought us here. And it's what a uh, 30 minute drive, and it's okay. Would you recommend it and would you come back? <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> sure. I always recommend it and I will always be back. Perfect. I love the place, I love the reef and, and the freedom of diving. That you're not bound to a boat at certain times and you can do whatever you want when you want it. <coughs> that for me is the biggest advantage together with the nice reef you have here. And if anyone's thinking about coming to Egypt and they're not sure whether to come or not, what would you say to them? Immediately. They cancelled my trip uh, in October last year and I felt very bad about it. Because I'm sure if I would have been here, no, nothing would have been wrong. There must be places in, in Egypt. You better not go in certain times, but not this far south of it. Not for me at least. Yeah, of course. Um, people are so friendly. Everything is organized, uh, organized so well. Um, people are friendly. Um, transport are secure, and the people. Um, it's very, very well organized. And what have you been doing while you've been here? Um, just being diving. It's a diving holiday, and. We went to different places because the reefs are so healthy and beautiful and Egypt is close uh, to Germany, um, are there in a few hours of traveling by plane and the weather is always or most time good <laughs> and it's sunny um, so you can enjoy everything. You can enjoy the food, you can enjoy diving, you can enjoy the people there. Yeah. And you, you felt safe all the time? Yeah, of course. Because, um, like I told you, the transfer from the um, airport to the um, to the hotel is well organized. It's secure. It's only for you. Um, people are quite professional, so it's very, very secure. Yeah, okay. never had the feeling of being unsecure. And if anyone was thinking about coming to Egypt and they're not sure whether to come or not, what would you say to them? You have to come. <laughs> the people need you. Um, you can see the resorts, they are quite um, empty. Um, yeah, come to Egypt, um, help the people because they need you and you can feel safe. The food is good, everything is all okay, um, you don't get any trouble, so come and visit Egypt. It's my first time back here for about four years. Um, seen a lot of improvement, it just seems a whole lot bigger. Um, a lot more places to relax, the rooms are fantastic, uh, the food is excellent. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go back lighter than I came, certainly. And yet yeah, the diving is just is fantastic and feel incredibly safe. Didn't have any qualms at all about coming to Egypt, none whatsoever, but I never have. 
um, wherever we've been in Egypt. It's always been it's always been good, but particularly here. It's it's fantastic. So the diving's fantastic. Great place where you can just sit back and relax as well. So definitely recommend it to anybody. Das ist schön ist hier. Und wir fühlen uns sehr sicher. Ja. Und es ist wunderbar. Und es hat unten noch 24 Grad. Ja, das ist gar nicht kalt. Ja, wir haben, wir haben einen sehr netten Guide. Und wir haben noch genau. viel Blei. Wir haben noch ganz über Urlaub und wir uns freuen. Kommt alle, nee, alle nicht. Aber einige dürfen gerne noch kommen, okay? Das war's. Um, I feel perfectly safe here. Um, I haven't noticed anything um, from what we hear back home in the news regarding all the political unrest and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's all been really smooth. Um, and I don't think that the people here, um, even like the locals, um, well, obviously they care, but they're not showing it to the tourists at all. So now I feel perfectly safe. Yeah. I would say to everyone now is the perfect time to come to Egypt just simply because there is so little tourists here at this time. Um, the sea is just flourishing, it's, uh, as I said before, it's just getting better and better I think. There's more fish, the coral looks more healthy. Um, so yeah, if you have the choice and uh, whether or not to come, do it now and that's the best time. <laughs>